Hello and welcome to the Modest Chapter. My name is Alia Khan, and today I'm with my bestie, Kelly Lundberg. <laughs> How are you? Pleasure. Thank you so much for inviting me here. It's so fun to have you. I'm having such a good time already. I'm and gorgeous. the camera didn't even start rolling. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kelly, you do a lot of stuff. Tell me, catch me up. What are you up to these days? So not only do we offer one-on-one -on -one personal styling and shopping for consumers that need help with clothes, so it's now become a complete you know, one-stop shop, whether you want to book a stylist or become a stylist. You're a well-known celebrity stylist and you deal with some pretty exciting names. I don't know if you want to divulge any of the names today, uh, but I do want to know some of their deep down dirty secrets. Like ah! what is the thing that troubles <laughs> the, 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 these people the most? It's very much now about working with individuals and understanding their style personality. Okay. The way that I style is always breaking it into three different categories. So the first and foremost, the most important thing to think about is style personality. The second aspect to think about is uh, your body shape. And the third aspect is color. So how does this relate to the, the average modest consumer? You know, layering is massive. Yeah. Whereas 10 years ago it wasn't so much and now it's very fashion forward. And it's, it's, also, it's also very challenging for the day-to-day -day modest consumer who has to constantly think about layering and that's a huge issue and they need to overcome it with maybe better selections, better advice, better guidance from people like you. Um, what does modesty mean to you? Modesty is different to everyone. I mean some of my clients I've looked at them and thought Leah I don't think you should wear that that's exposing too much and they're very comfortable with that and they in some ways think that's modest and then I have other clients that you know want something much more conservative in theirs. So I think the modesty aspect for me is down to the individual. Describe to us your typical modest stylish client. What would they look like? How would I style maybe something like that? So I would pick a pair of trousers. Um, I would pick kind of the trousers that are on trend just now. Maybe they've got the elasticated cuffs at the bottom that they could wear with trainers but they could also wear with heels. So that would be the bottom cool. and they could dress it up and down. So again that's something that would work for different style personalities. I think I get more excited than them. I'm like, yay, you look amazing. And I was like, they're like, really? I'm like, yay. Eureka. Yeah, and, and, and they're like, oh, wow. So and it's a little bit of a coming to know yourself moment. When, when they start feeling that fit and that comfort zone with their look, it's about really understanding who they are at that particular moment. Oh, absolutely. And it fits. And it's the feeling. It's always about the feeling. If it doesn't feel right, no matter how much money you've spent on it, no matter who gave it to you as a gift, because that's something that happens a lot with a husband in the closet. What's your secret to success? Um, so I'll plan always the night before and it's become so much that it's a habit. So I can't go to sleep if I haven't planned the next day out. You know what? It's amazing. Every time I ask a successful person, what is their secret to success? They always say staying organized. Return all your calls, respond to all your emails, and go to sleep with a clean sheet. You just know that everything's been handled and you've got your to-do list for the next day. Yeah. That's another thing. You need to have that, that map about what you're going to do when you wake up in the morning. Yeah. And that, I mean, it's kind of simple if you think about it. It's not that challenging to do stuff like that just to stay on, on track. So I'm, I'm wondering how people don't end up being so organized. Because it's not a habit. Yeah. We did a show about that, about changing habits and retraining yourself so that you can actually gear yourself towards success with go, uh, doing away with the old habits and introducing new ones and repe repeatedly uh, do the new habits until the old ones are completely gone. Mm. So that becomes the new part of your, your DNA. So I suppose what you're, you're living testament to that. If you were to pick two people that were exactly the same shape, exactly the same skin tone, and you put them in exactly the same outfit, what do you think would happen? They would look exactly the same? No, they would look different because their personality <laughs> <laughs> comes out. You know, you right. see that. You're like, you look at some people and you're like, I've got her same body shape. How can I not wear that? Right. And the reason to that is down to personalities. So enlighten us. How do you go about assessing the personality? If they both look exactly the same in every single way, same skin color, tone, body shape, what's different that so you can see? So they'll have a certain flair or, or style or attitude that will all come with the style personality. So there's five, I break it down to the five C's. Okay. Okay, so you have conservative, classic, let's say King classic. Um, you would have casual, you would have creative, you would have fashion conscious, 
subconscious, <laughs> and you would have carefree. So carefree would be like your bohemian, maybe, kind of style. Right. Um, so if we start back at the classic. So the classic kind of style personality person, you would spot them in terms of their style. They would like investment pieces. They're very much in their simple colouring. So they wouldn't be out there for something orange or yellow or brightly patterned. It would be very simple, classic line. Now. So two people that tend to look exactly alike are differentiated by what you see in their nuances, in their personalities, their sort of inner style really that Absolutely. Sort of exudes with their with the way they walk or the way they carry themselves. Exactly. That is so interesting. So, so we before we let you go, can you just do a little bit of name dropping? <laughs> oh <Aww. laughs> about someone that you work with that that you're fascinated by? Um, to think of maybe someone who would be international would be Roger Federer. So that was more when he came in, he did a shoot. Um, what kind of vision he has, and you have to go with that rather than necessarily what looks good in them. So that's that can be more challenging, but he looked fabulous. It was a grey suit. I think I've got the picture. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye Thank bye. you.